Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a... <clears throat> ...brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this? Fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw. Clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the Outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So you best make ready. The world won't save itself. men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. That'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. 
Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty. Never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. moments I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. We were talking. Then let's shut him up. Ethan. 
of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Odds, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else.
Doesn't look that far. Right. I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost.
see they replace that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. Once more. Aye, seeing as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. The Mother Crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. No one about. I knew it would be big, but this. There, that's our way into the inner sanctum. I think they'd have patched that up by now. The sorry state the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. At tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Phoenix Gate be here in the mines. Are the two places connected somehow? Sick of talking. 
I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. I can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Where did that come from? If I had to guess... Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm? If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. 
by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? Beautiful. The heart of Sambrak. Well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tyra's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Look. What is that? Sid! <sighs> Freight. I need a freight. without you.
I've been here before. Us. and yours.
It's done.
Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right. The hole. We'll... We'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned. It wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man. Reclaiming his face. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Crystal's blessing is a prison, Clive. And if it's an outlaw the world needs to help it break free... Stop. Please. I can think of none better than you. In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew.
sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Have you learned Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this if you want him, You'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Just try and get to my brother now.
Without this, Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? Finest silks from the master weavers of Randalar. Come, come, feel its softness. Chop Make a nice snakes, gift for your wife. Sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. Curatives, restoratives, of all you like, sir. It's all fresh. This very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, milady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished.
police. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him, the outlaw. Sit here. of this let him play with the kitten they brought a pet <laughs> you'll pay for what you've done Sid those things are fast and we'll have to be faster <laughs> with this. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day.
Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go.